I'm Evan Lazarus, Chief Knowledge Officer for T3Live.com. You don't become a great trader by watching videos and taking courses. You become a great trader through live screen time. Accelerate that learning curve by tapping into the experience of seasoned professionals. Currently, we're offering five-day free trials to each of our four mentoring rooms. In the mentoring rooms, we teach our strategies in the context of the live market. To sign up for a free trial, go to the T3Live education page, fill out the form, and get started when the next trading session begins. We hope to see you in one of our mentoring rooms. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Mark. We're back for the afternoon call. Uh, Scott had to leave a little early. So this market and what did it do? It shook the tree and, you know, we've had a lot of stop and starts uh, over the last week, week and a half. And that was telling me minimum to lay off a lot of the longs, the swing longs. It was getting a little tricky. Two times in the last two weeks, I, I, I got out and then it forced me to get back in and I got out again. And that was just a telltale sign that something is happening. Obviously, the rhetoric in Washington is really what's, I think, moving this market. Uh, today, it was Italy, um, it, you know, and Europe is now back moving this market. So with this overhang and with this, uh, you know, political news that's happening, you're just going to get a shake the tree. And I think it's going to be a viable opportunity for us at some point in time. Um, you don't have to be early on it. And the key is really figuring out how to take advantage of two-way action because that's what we're getting right now. I haven't seen you know, good two-way action in a while. Well, we're there. Um, hopefully it stays around for a period of time. Uh, to me, that means you don't have to be aggressively long in your swing account and putting on new positions across the board. You can really be a, a little bit of a sniper and find levels from the long side, find levels from the short side to take advantage of the stocks. And let's talk about a few ideas today. First one I'll talk about that we were involved with is the DDD SSYS. Um, earnings came out and, you know, they said they were a little worse than expected, but the reality is they were doing it, judging it off, not the three for two stocks, but from my understanding, rallied pretty nicely. It took a little time, but, you know, here's a shorter time frame chart. And you can just see, you know, the low was 30 and it obviously closed the day, you know, the highest 36 and change. Closed at 34. Needs a little bit more time, but looks like it's trying to find a bottom here. Over the next few days, we'll see it. And along that, those lines, SSYS, you know, and XONE gave you some nice trades. And SSYS closed right around the 200 day. Uh, nice trades for us to take advantage of from the long side. And I know from the short side, the people who took advantage of it right away. Good trades, good three dollar trades. Long, good three dollar, five dollar trades on the, on the short side. Nice price price action. That's what we like to see. Uh, some stocks that really have shaken the tree, and they were due. They were due. Goldman Sachs, some of the banks. We've, saw, we've seen a little bit of damage starting to be done. They broke, Goldman Sachs broke its 21-day moving average. For the first time, going back to, uh, it looks like, early December, late November. Uh, that means the 50-day is going to be the next uh, line in the sand for play. 140 and change. I don't know if it gets down there, uh, but another two, one or two days down, Obviously, you're going to get some buying opportunities in there. And quite frankly, you're going to get some good price action from the long and from the short side for us to take advantage of. Do your homework. That's the key. Across that board, Morgan Stanley, same type of trade. Broke the, the MO is the same with other banks. A lot of them have broke, broken some key moving averages, mainly the 21 day at this point in time. The 50 day is next. Let's see if JP Morgan did roughly the same thing. BAC has already been beaten up a little bit, and right now 11 doesn't seem like it wants to hold yet. That might get, I don't think it's going to get to the 200 day, but you know, next, next line in the sand, if it doesn't hold 11, is around 1050. And this is a sell off that's going to be viable, in my opinion, but you want to wait. You don't want to be early. You want to let some of the headline news uh, play itself out. We still have, what, a week uh, for all this to sort of play itself out. The rhetoric is getting a little louder because we're getting closer to that date. I think it's March 1st, March 2nd, if I'm not correct. Uh, and, and that's short. Eventually, we'll have some resolution, I, ideally. And I think we'll get back to uh, the norm of what we've been trading with. But this is good. Shake the tree. The next few days are going to be nice movement for us across the board. Some other stocks that I think people have been watching, the ags have obviously gotten beaten up, continue to get beaten up. Let's see if they hold the 200-day. There's Mosaic. CF is, has broken below the 200-day. We'll see a big point, you know, a big move down. But then you got to go back to November, and this is roughly the price. It did bounce some, so we'll, we'll wait and see. No trade there yet, but something to certainly keep on the radar. 
Uh, oil stocks, same, same type of trade. They've definitely taken a hit. The OIH, the OT ETF, Schlumberger, Exxon, you get the picture. We had to shake the tree. We we're down 200 or something in the, in the market. Uh, and this is what happens. Some, you know, money was put to the gold, but I still think it's a broken pattern. Still flirting around the, you know, below 1600 for the time being at, at, at this point. Other stocks that people are watching, and, and I think from the high beta point of view, Netflix, three days down, was a good buying opportunity. It did not hold. Uh, we'll have to see if the, the best in breed, Netflix, Google, LinkedIn, can really hold their bid. If we get a little bit more downward action, my, my opinion is probably not, at least initially. Uh, they're going to go a little farther on the downside than most people think, but those will be the first that will probably be buying opportunities when we sort of recover from this little shake the tree that's happening, this downward action that's happening. The downward action, that, in my opinion, is actually healthier than if we just stayed up there without uh, getting a little bit of uh, fear in the market. The VIX, you know, obviously you can either play the VXX, which is ETF, had a nice 14%, 15% move today, or you can actually do the VI, VIX, which is a little bit, you know, the volatility index. Huge, huge spike. You can see last time around we spiked around 23. That was uh, at the end of the last year. Again, with the headline news, that was the same, same price. If we get another spike in the VIX, you know, today or tomorrow, that might be the level. But again, we have gotten to the 30s to 40s at some point in time. I don't know what's going to really push us to that point, but just understanding the history and understand how some of these vehicles trade. And it was cheap money for a while, and that's where money was getting put to admit, at least mitigate some of the risk. Retailers, nothing to talk about on that front. You get some good, you get some bad. Cores obviously had that secondary the other day not really hanging in there, but it's, it's going to be a best in breed that you're going to go back to Lulu, Nike, same, same type of uh, ideas. Another trade I recognize today, a little late, I think, uh, the YCS on a bigger macro you know, trend. Not something I trade consistently, but something to recognize. Look at the volume on it. Uh, money's getting put in, you know, taken out of the yen at this point in time, at least today. We'll see if that lasts on a bigger macro trend. Not so sure. The bonds, you know, I'm trying to cover a bunch. TLTs, TBTs, you know, I thought they looked good a few days ago and you could see what happened. Money got, you know, put out of them. Is it going to be a buying opportunity or selling, you know, for the TBTs and obviously a shorting opportunity for TLTs? We'll have to wait and see. You know, at this point I'm in some options on the TBTs long, but, you know, nothing, nothing to write home about. And at the same time, maybe the 200 day on the TLTs and the TBTs might be the line in the sand. So, that's where we're at, guys. Uh, leadership might wane a little bit over the next few days. I think you're going to get very good two-way action. Um, that's what I would expect. You've got to do your homework. You're going you're to be able to find ideas on the long side, find ideas on the short side if you do your homework, and you're going to get this conviction because you're going to get bailed out both sides, I think, at this point in time. And that's what I like to see. We have not had that tape for around six, six weeks or longer. Uh, well. Ideally, I'd love to see it last more than three days, four days. I don't know if that's going to be the case. You know, it might all you know, dissipate when some decision comes to Washington or overseas. You know, Italy news comes, comes to fruition. Not so sure. But in the meantime, ideally, you want to be able to take advantage of some of the volatility that's in front of us. That means some of the stuff that, you know, two, three days down, you're going to obviously look to buy. Two, three days up, you're going to be shorting into resistance. Same basic playbook that I've been playing on, but I think it's, you know, you're going to be a little bit more forgiving in this type of tape. Respect the fact of where the VIX came from, where it possibly could go to 22, 23 will probably be a little resistance um, if we get up there. And just keep an open head. Don't get stubborn on your positions because this volatility, I'd, ideally, I'd love to see it stay for longer than, again, two to three days. We'll have to wait and see if that's the case. The banks, where are our leaders lacking the, some of the leadership? Uh, look for the 50 day. And then lastly, the home builders. You know, some of the people were talking about it, good trades for some of the people that were short the XHBs. Um, you know, certainly broke some key moving averages right at the long term trend, trend line going back to you know, almost last June. So that's it. The long term trend of the home builder ETF is in jeopardy. We're not quite there yet. A little bit more time. We'll have to wait and see. Do, does it get to the 200 day moving average on the home builder index? Not so sure yet. Something to watch. Uh, but a reversal in this overall market, I think, is here. 
We'll just have to see how long it lasts, and you'll, we'll have to see when a buying opportunity happens. In the meantime, you can make some money on the short side, which we have not been able to do consistently uh, for any sort of time frame. I think that's going to be the you know that's going to be the mo of this tape at least this week. Ideally, I like to see that. Hopefully, you were able to take advantage of some of the opportunities we had in front of us today. There's plenty of them. Uh, from the long side, a little less. From the short side, a little more. Hopefully, you were able to capitalize somewhat. And let's look at tomorrow. And please do your homework. That's how you're going to be able to capitalize in the next few days. I will see you all tomorrow. I'm Mark Sperling, Director of Trading with T3 Trading Group and contributor to T3 Live. Do you trade on your own, but you wish you enjoyed the benefits of a large trading floor? With the T3 Live virtual trading floor, we deliver that experience to you on your computer. On the VTF, you can follow the long and short positions of experienced professional traders like myself, Scott Redler, and others, and listen to our live radio stations as we navigate the markets. In addition, you get the added value of a large community of sophisticated and like-minded traders. Your membership to the virtual trading floor also includes access to our two very popular newsletter products, Off the Charts and the Price Point Sheet at no additional cost. In my opinion, joining the room will be the best trading decision you will ever make. I would like to invite you to begin your membership with a seven-day free trial. To get started, visit t3live.com and click on the virtual trading floor tab. Have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you in the VTF.